Good morning. Today let's take a look at how you can use an app script to develop a form limiter solution for a project in which you might want choices on a list in a form to disappear after they've been chosen. So for instance, you want your students to choose a country to do a report on or something. And once a country's chosen, you don't want the next student who fills out the form to be able to choose that same form. So here's a, a copy of this that I've put together. And you can see I threw together a list of countries. And what I want to be able to do here is when a country is chosen, I want it to disappear from the list. And one thing I want you to notice right now, the list is not in uh, any particular order. It's not in alphabetical order. We're going to clean that up when we build the app script. So the first thing we need to do is to build our form response sheet because the work we're going to do with this is going to actually be on the form response sheet. So let's start with that. I'm going to go to this response page. We don't have any responses yet. And I'm going to create a new spreadsheet. <coughs> and as you can see, form responses one, no responses yet, and just these three headers that uh, is going to collect the data. So in order to do this, we need to build a sheet. And, and actually, I've also done a, an app script to build the sheet that we use to um, set up this data. So let's start with this by going to App Script under Extensions menu. And here's a basic app script that we haven't set up yet. I'm going to um, I'm going to call this form limiter. I'm going to name this right away. And then I think let's start by first of all getting rid of the function that was in there. And then I've got these functions written. Let's go ahead and what we want to do here I think is to take this, uh, by the way, I'll, I'll include this in the uh, video notes. Um, here's a Google Doc that has all of these scripts in here. So rather than me typing them, I'm just going to grab this first function. And this is going to create the setup tab, just the way I, I need it. We'll go over that here in a minute, but I'm going to just copy that. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go ahead and paste. So let's take a look at this first script we're going to use. And in this case, I'm going to rename this. I'm just going to call this lists because I want to create a sheet. So let's take a look at this. Here's the spreadsheet. Get the active spreadsheet. We're going to insert a new sheet called lists. And then I wanted to uh, format the header row. So here's the header. I'm going to make it bold. I'm going to have wrap on it, middle. Uh, a, a vertical alignment, center alignment. I'm going to freeze the first row. And then I'm defining cell A1, B1, C1, D1, E1. And in those cells, I'm going to put this following information. So let's go ahead and get this done. Save that. And then this is the first time we're going to be running this script in, or any of these scripts in this project. So it's taking it a moment, but we're, we're going to uh, get prompted here to authorize this script. Go ahead and do that. And yes, this is me. And yes, I'm going to allow this script to do these things. Now it says it's done. Let's go over to my sheet and check. Well, sure enough, it has created a sheet in this sheet. It's created a sheet with my country, right, number of choices, and then these actually, in this uh, cell, this formula, is going to calculate the number of times that 
a country has chosen. Um, this formula is then going to calculate the number of whether or not a country is available and then finally this is going to take this list, sort it, find the unique names, sort them, and give us a list in this column E is the column we're going to use in the app script. So let's go ahead and first of all paste in our countries. So we have, um, I've got the list of countries on my clipboard, I'll go ahead and paste these in. Now this is where you decide how many times a country can be chosen and in this case I'm just going to put in ones. You can only choose it once. You can see here this formula is doing its magic, number of times chosen zero, so what's available right now is all of these countries, nothing's been chosen. And finally in this one, because we're sorting this list, now I've actually got the list in alphabetical order, which I would have preferred but didn't type it that way. So now that we have done our setup sheet, we can go ahead and put this away. Our next step would be to find and add the form limiter script itself. And I have a couple of uh, different ways you could do this. One requires you to get the item IDs of each one of your items. And, and we, you can do that with a script like this and actually create a sheet and, and collect your form IDs and item IDs. But in this case, a little simpler way to do it is this. We're just going to take note of which position the item we want to update is in on the form. I'm going to go ahead and copy that one. Come in here. I'm going to add another script. And what this script is going to do is in this active spreadsheet it's going to get the form URL, it's going to open that form, it's going to get the form ID and we have a constant here, the countries, we're going to get lists E to E, so let's take a look at that. That's going to be this list of, net of countries right here. We're going to get those values and then we're going to create an empty array and we're going to take this countries, that's everything on this list, and for each one of those we're going to clean it up, make sure there's no trailing spaces or anything like that, and then we're going to push it into this clean, clean countries list, which is this empty array. So we're going to build this array, and then we're going to check to see if there are at least two items in the form items, and in this case we know that we have two, at least two, and then, in this case, I had gone ahead and this sample and moved my question. Notice that the country question is the first question, not the second question. And so we're using the index, and the index here is going to be zero, because that's the first item in our form items list. And then we're going to take that country list, which is that first item, and we're going to use the data from the clean country list and fill that data. So let's go ahead and save that. And let's go ahead and take a look back here. So right now we have all of our uh, countries in here. And what we'll want to do is check and see if our update form function is working and we'll do that just to make sure there's no errors. Let's go ahead and run it. Nothing should change here because, well actually what you should see change here is we should get an alphabetized list now. So let's go ahead and see if that runs. I think we may have to authorize again because we added some new things this is doing. It is doing a couple of other things or at least one other thing. 
Now let's take a look at the form, and sure enough, you can see Belize, Costa Rica, El Salvador, and that, that was not the order it was in. So we know that part's working. Now one thing we're going to have to do is we want this to automatically run on form submit. So we're going to have to set a trigger, and this trigger is going to be, um, we're going to do the update form function, and it's going to be from the spreadsheet on form submit. And we'll go ahead and save that. Let's make sure that trigger's set. There it is. And let's come back here to my editor. Now, what should happen here is if, if I go ahead and view this form, let's choose Belize, first country, and let's say it's Tim, and let's go ahead and submit. Let's take a look at our sheet now and see that we have one submission. Tim chose Belize. Let's take a look at our list. And let's see that we should have we should have seen uh, Belize disappear from this list. And I think in looking at this, I'm not sure why this uh, in this formula that we had set, I, I know this formula was set to two. That should have, um, let's see what else is, it be two, two D. I'm gonna have to investigate this because Belize is now chosen. Ah, I do understand what this. So when I originally built this, I had in the form, I had the name of the student first and then the country. So my formulas are a little bit wrong. I'm gonna have to clean that up. So this would be at the length of A2A, count if form responses C2C is equal to A2A. Well, this isn't C, this is actually B. So I need to fix this. Uh, Is it B to B? Okay. And that was where our error lay. This one is just looking at this data. It's not looking at the form response. So I think that we're good with that. Yeah, I had changed the order of the um, form items. So now notice Belize is no longer part of this list. It disappeared from the available list because here it's saying if this number is greater than that number, um, we're going to make sure these are available. In other words, they're on the, the usable list. So let's come back here and run the update form function again and then check and see that on our form, sure enough, Belize is gone. So let's try, let's try submitting this again. Let's submit a new response. Belize is gone. Let's try Costa Rica, and this is John, and submit. Let's go and check and see if we, yep, there we go. Now we have this working. Costa Rica is not, no longer available. It's not going to be on the list. Let's go ahead and see if that automatically updated with our trigger. Sure enough, Costa Rica's off the list. El Salvador, Sue, submit. Double check, yep, El Salvador's off the list. It's been added here. And let's go ahead and see if El Salvador is on the list, sure enough. So there's a sample of using app script. In this case, we've, we've done two app scripts. One, we used to set up this tab because we needed this list sheet. And you could set this up manually, of course, but I wanted to see if I could build that with an app script. And 
Secondly, our second function is the update form. And the update form is going to take this list in going to take the data in E2. Again, we are doing all this calculation to come up with this. And this list of countries is going to update on the form every time form submit happens. So as a country is chosen, it would be removed.